So you want to go out and catch sea bass and you're not sure what lure to use. Um, as a rule I tend to go with either blue, green, white or like an oily colour. Other colours will work, I mean it all depends on where you are. Um, most lures will catch at some point. But if you're just starting out and you want sort of consistent catches then you probably want to go with things like a mackerel design. This is a J11. It's an old star one, but it was very, very good at catching. It's probably one of the best catches I've ever had. Um, other ones that are very good are the Slither. Imitates a sand eel, and they catch really well. The only thing with these, these um, will catch a lot of pollock. So if you've got a lot of pollock in the area, um, and you find yourself that's all you're catching, try and change to something like a mackerel one to try and thin the amount of pollock. But if you want pollock, use that one. Now everybody's got their own taste of what to use. I would tend to go with things that you find in the area. If you get a lot of mackerel in your area, then use a mackerel rapala. If you get a lot of sand eel, use a sand eel one. And the same with white bait. You get a lot of white bait, then use a white lure. I mean, this one's a, again a sand eel, which is had the originally it had a red head, but it never actually caught anything apart from um, coalfish with the red head. So I stripped off the head, left a little bit of gill there, and now it catches quite well with the bass. So, um, yeah, you get other styles. This is a um, Savage Gear, I believe, this one. And it's like a jointed one. This is a really big one. And this is irritating the herring. And they do work. Um, depends where you take I tend to use this one more on the boat. I do have a smaller version in here somewhere. Um, there it is down here. That one there. And that's just a smaller version. That catches quite well. It's even caught Pollock, that one. I've got some other ones, like larger ones, which I would use off the boat. And they would be like that. Now, with the large ones like this, I've always found, obviously found that the bigger the lure, the bigger the fish. I mean, these things I put on, you'll get sort of 8 to 10 pound fish taking these. You will get smaller fish attacking them as well. As long as they can get the hook in their mouth, they'll take them. Another fairly good one is... A Benito one, this one here, which is stuck to all the others. It's the only thing with these things, they stick to everything. And that one there. So it's entirely up to you which wheels you use. I mean, there's a heck of a lot of them on the market. A lot of them are actually they're designed to catch the fishermen, and a lot of them, which are the bright colours and that, they will work, but you'll find there'll be more for different species of fish. Generally, like I say, for me, I've always found with bass it's white, blue, green or that sort of oily colour have always been the best. So I hope this has been of some use to you and hopefully you'll catch plenty of bass.